Hi, I'm Brian Van from Sport Bike Track here, SportBikeTrackHere.com. Today we're going to do a video review on a brand new textile jacket based off the very successful Overlord series from our friends at Icon Motorsports. It's the Type 1 Overlord textile jacket. This year my brother and I, we made an executive decision. We're going to do it a little bit different. Icon has a great catalog. They include a paragraph of text describing each of their products and you know what we find it interesting and believe you will too so we're sharing those with you today type 1 meets type A aggressive ambitious and highly competitive these are the hallmarks of the type A personality through years of research and development we've extracted these traits from our icon riders such as Jason Britton and imbued them into our textiles armor and patterns the result is our new type 1 overlord jacket it's lightweight yet rugged chassis, tailored attack fit, and multi-tiered defensive armor package expose its true nature. Aggressive, ambitious, and highly competitive. In the urban sprawl, only the strongest survive. Choose your gear accordingly. I'd say that's not bad. And it pretty accurately describes this new jacket. I'm really excited about this because, like I said, it's based off of their Overlord platform which has been really really successful the new attack fit for icon instead of the baggy more relaxed fit it's more form fitting more uh, we'll, we'll call it kind of race style right but most importantly this has some of the same external armor pieces and accents that you find on the overlord prime leather jacket puts them on the textile chassis and makes it way more affordable so you can get that overlord prime look and feel for a whole lot less money than the leather jacket. Let's go sizing. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, about 200 pounds with a somewhat athletic build. I'm wearing a size large in the Overlord Type 1. It includes quilted vest liner. I've got that in right now. Front view, side, reaching for control, sleeve length. See the motion panels work in there and the elbow. Get a good look at that elbow armor. Shoulder, if you want to tighten up on that, Josh. Really love those details. Give the jacket a great look. You come to the back of the jacket, it has the same back piece too. You can see the motion panels there working. The jacket feels really good, and the large fits me spot on. It fits great. Lots of cool detail on this. Several types of textile material brought together with, right, these armor accents on the outside make this a great looking, great feeling jacket. If you want to tighten up, screen printing, TPR, inside of the TPR icon logo here, that's mesh, it's going to flow some air for you. Got mesh right here, also high air flow, all inside the arms. The stretch material, high air flow, it's going to flow the air freely. Now conversely, in the high impact areas, right, you've got heavy denier ballistic nylon, so the jacket's going to offer a lot of protection in this area. In the cuff, we've got a snap and a zipper. You can wear a short glove with this, a long glove, it's your choice. Get real tight on that shoulder, I think that's super cash, really love that. Tighten up real nice on the back of the jacket if you would, Josh. Stay tuned for the second part of this video. We're going to pull this thing apart, give you a great look from the inside out, and show the brand new Overlord Type 1 in more detail. All right, here we go with the all-new Icon Overlord Type 1 textile jacket from the inside out. CE certified field armor in the elbows, forearms, and shoulders. Moldable, comfortable, low profile, very protective, which is the important part comes with a dual density foam back pad. This does offer a reasonable measure of protection. Like I said earlier in the video, you can upgrade to their Striker CE certified back protector. You take the straps off, it'll slide right in the pocket in place of this dual density protector and really amps up the protection of the jacket in a vital area. That is your choice. We recommend you do it. Removable quilted vest liner, simple quilted vest, good quality as always. Got a zipper, pull it from the top, over the shoulders, down the other side. And we also have a couple of snaps that are in the 
underarm area, help hold it in there in place so it doesn't bunch up on you. Now let's try and show this thing in really good detail. That molded plastic protector on the back, really cool, showed you it's kind of flexible, icon logo. It covers up a little bit of a vent panel here on the back. Some neoprene here, base of the neck, perforated with mesh behind it so the air can escape there. On the back of the jacket, everything you see here in black in the center, all high airflow mesh, okay? Here's the motion panel for the shoulder into the underarm. There's some embroidery work done here, kind of in the collarbone area, right? Adds a lot of nice detail to the jacket. It might be hard for the camera to pick that up. You can see the screen printing on the white and gray areas here. It looks really cool. TPR icon logo right here, tail of the jacket. In the underarm, inside of the arm, all this stretch material makes the jacket very comfortable and that will also allow air to move in and out, aid in cooling. If you want to zoom in on that shoulder protector, that is a good looking piece. No question about it. Screen printing here on the arm. Here's our motion panel on the arm. Here is the elbow protector. All right. Like I said earlier, all the heavy to near nylon right in the impact areas makes this a nice safe textile jacket. Mesh air intake right there, TPR details surrounding it. The stretch material right here, remember, is going to flow air freely. You want to zoom in on the chest detail here. There's mesh in the center, flow air, screen printed details, logos, all down the front of the jacket. Large, rolled, low restriction collar keeps it really comfortable. I personally like a big collar on a jacket or a suit. I think it makes it more comfortable, especially if you're riding a sport bike. Inside the jacket, left breast, zippered storage pocket. It's a great place to put anything that you don't want to lose. As Icon has always done, stash pocket, St. Christopher metal, awesome touch. Here is the pocket where that dual density back protector comes. Stock, remember, you can replace that with the upgrade for the striker. There is the rest of the detail on the inside. Pretty basic stuff inside there. This is a cool jacket. I love the way it fits, feels, looks, and I think the most interesting part of this is it allows someone to get in that, that Overlord Prime look. Kind of even like the Overlord Prime Hero look with the screen printing and whatnot but at a much more affordable price because it's done in a textile chassis. Cool jacket, we're happy to offer it. I'm Brian Van from sportbiketractor.com. This is the Icon Overlord Type 1 textile jacket.